welcome back my friends to will edu tech and in this video we're going to be answering parts part c of part one of question of question 11 part c where they're asking us to write an expression to represent the distance s to x and if you note s is on the line segment wy and we're now finding the distance from s x so let me just get my pencil quickly so basically what they're asking us to do is to write an expression for this distance from the point s and i'm going straight across straight across to the point x so that's the distance we are interested in now it's pretty much easy uh, as i've stated before just imagine uh, for example yourself and a friend of yours uh, both of you are standing at the point s now there are two different paths that both persons can take to get to the point x okay for example let's say uh, sandra and Shan was standing at the point L let me use another name Angela and Shan was standing at the point S let's say Angela chose to walk the, the distance S to X okay and she stopped at the point X well Shan could have walked another another path another direction and get to the same point X she could walk from S to W and then from W to X okay so basically that's it so if you remember in the previous video we looked at the information given and we had stated we, we looked at it that said that W to S was one part so from WS if WS is one part okay one part out of three and then W X would be the same as A, okay? Because remember, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and equal, okay? So this side is also A. Let me change my color. Uh, this side here, this side is A because down here is A. And remember, it would be going in the same direction. So I can put an arrowhead on that okay also as I said there are two ways of looking at this because you could travel that distance we could travel from s we could move to w and then we could move to x or by intuition it would suggest then that also you could travel from s to y and then from y to x okay so you can travel any of these journeys or rather any of you can you can walk in any direction any of the two directions and you you'd still get at the same place you could move from s to w and then to x okay or if you're at s you could move from s to y and then to x okay so it doesn't really matter matter which direction you take i am going to take from s to y okay you could try it the next way and you would get the same you would get the same answer i can guarantee you that but um just a quick pointer for you if, if when you're trying the distance from s to w um and then from w to x remember that initially we had calculated w to y and w to y here in part a over here okay let me mark it here in part a w to y was basically positive okay and since from w to s is one part then it would be one out of three parts okay but guess what we are moving now from s to w so it would be negative let me change the color it would be negative one third of s to w okay or ws rather i think it's it's better to say ws okay so i just want you to bear that information in mind just in case you are going to calculate it this direction from s to w and then from w to x let's get into it let me just pull this up a bit maybe we are going to need a little bit more space to work with okay now really what we have here guys um i'm moving from s to y first so if you, by intuition it would suggest from s to y is two thirds okay from and the distance that i'm traveling is from s to x okay so moving from s to x i can say then from s to y s to x would be basically uh two thirds two thirds of w w to y and it makes sense w to y is the whole and we're taking two-thirds of w to y based on what we discussed in the previous video and then i'll be moving y to x so this would be plus y to x okay now basically this is equal to two-thirds of w to y is the same 
And, and let me just pull this down a bit just to remind you we had calculated W2Y already. Okay, we calculated W2Y in part A and we got A minus B. So basically, if I'm saying two thirds of W2Y, then since we had gotten A minus B here, then I could just by substitution states then that W2Y is the same as two thirds of A minus B. And we know that Y to X y to x would be the same as positive b if you notice on the opposite side the distance is b and remember opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram so this side must also be b b okay so i can say plus b now quickly we can just get into this and say then two-thirds of a minus b it can be written as a fraction two times a minus b okay close bracket and that's all over three plus b quickly so let's pull this up a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with okay so so basically what i'll be doing let, let's just simplify this quickly we could turn this into a fraction by putting it over one then we could find the lcd so the lcd is three i could just expand my my bracket now at the top by saying by simply saying two times a and then two times negative b okay so two times a would give me a 2a so here i would have a 2a and then two times negative b would give me a minus 2b okay and i'm adding to that plus one into three goes three times so i'm multiplying b by three so b times three would give me a 3b okay so basically what i have left here by simplification i could say grouping my like terms i could say i have a 2a here 2a minus you have a minus 2b plus a 3b so that's the same as saying 3b minus well let me write it here a little bit more where i have some space 3b minus 2b okay that this is the same thing if you just turn it around and 3b minus 2b would leave us with a positive b plus b all right and basically we could just put this in a we could just put this over 3 or denominator so therefore 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 let us state now our answer therefore s to x an expression that represents the distance s to x would be the same as we can say 2a plus b all over 3 okay or if you want to simplify it a little bit more since the 3 is at the bottom and 3 is dividing uh, the expression at the top we could simply say okay then divide by 3 is the same as multiplying by one third so we could say it's one third of 2a plus b okay and that's it that's your answer okay it's it's really that easy all right okay hope that was helpful hope that was hope you find that video useful okay and we'll see you in the next video so stay tuned bye bye